Okay guys, Kevin with Fat Totem Jack Home Repairs. Just uh, giving you a little tidbit on how we're going to clean our shop vac. A lot of people are just, you know, they, they skip a few steps, then all of a sudden they burn out their shop vacs and uh, it can't last as long as they, they wanted it to. So, with my shop vac, I keep all my accessories in a backpack and I use a cable cuff when I'm storing it. Just to cuff it right to the handle here so that um, I can carry all my stuff with me, my tools for cleaning it, everything. So. We just pulled it off a job, it's quite filled, so what we're going to do first is we're going to remove the hose. Set that off to the side for now, we've got two latches on either side, pop that up, set the top down. Now, a bunch of stuff in here, we're just going to take a bucket and we're going to go dump that. Alright guys, so you take your bucket, take your shot back. All that debris out of there. All right, bucket's empty. We're empty enough for our purposes, um, and that's usually where people stop when they're cleaning a shop bag. All right, I'm going to throw this away. I'm going to put my stuff back on, and that's where we don't stop because we still have a filter, and a lot of people don't clean these. They get clogged. You lose suction put a lot more resistance on your motor and you get them to burn out, things like that. So you just pop that right off, it's pretty simple. And in my bag here, I keep a, a snow brush. Cheesy, chintzy little snow brush you use for just brushing off a car. They usually throw them in your rental cars, they're you know, like 50 cents to a dollar. So, right now, we set this off to the side. Set this off to the side. and. All you want to do is just, just kind of agitate that dust right out of there. After a lot of use on these things, sometimes they just they start getting holes in them. They start getting really worn. You should replace them. Um, and usually all the model numbers um, can be found either on your manufacturer's website, on the back. Um, sometimes they even have a, a number on the filter itself for you to find the replacement parts. So multiple directions, work those bristles right in there to get most of that dust out. You're not going to get all of it out, but your shop vac, you're gonna notice, runs a lot more effectively now. And uh, I use, I usually do this as soon as this thing starts getting filled. I do it every, I do it as soon as I have to change this bucket out. My tools, I've had this thing for four years now. It cost me a hundred dollars, hundred bucks well spent. Once you got most of it out, I like to kind of just bang it on the ground a little bit, kind of jockey some of the, jockey some of that dirt right out of there. You see, there's a lot more dirt coming out. All right, once you've kind of beaten it up a little bit, hit it with the brush again. Doesn't take long. Still a little dusty, but she's ready for action. Before I put my filter back on, I also like to take the brush and just kind of grind some of the stuff out of there around the wheelhouse. Shake it off. Now, changing your filter, just slide it right back on there. See that little node? Just pops right on. She's ready to go. Bring your bucket back over. Slide it back in. Lock your lock your latches on the side. Gravel your cord at. Gravel your cord up. A lock at the end of the cord. Lock it right on there. Attach your hose again. Let that lock right back on there. I like to loop it right around here. Just kind of give it a nice little a hug. Knock the dust off your brush. Get your bag all back together. Cable cap it to your vacuum. You're ready to put her away until you need her again. Alright guys, so I'm Kevin with Fact Totem Jack Home Repairs. This is our one of our little tidbits and tool cleaning. Uh, this one is shop back cleansing. Subscribe to our channel. Um, Keep posted for new videos and uh, we'll see you guys again soon.